Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, good morning to you. I was going to say happy. I don't know. Good morning. Um, this is going to be a get ready with me. I'm going to head out. I'm going to head out to Sephora, uh, which is in my local mall, which requires me to go in public. <laughs> so, I want to do, I'm a, I don't have like a specific look in mind, but I just want to put some makeup on today. I'm in one of those moods, want to get cute, want to get glam. I have some face products that I do want to use, some new things that you've seen in a haul or you've seen, but like maybe not uh, seen me put on. I have some definitely concealer, foundation I want to use today, spray, um, and then just pick through my collection for whatever else. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks to those that joined me on my live on Friday, what date was that, September 25th? Um, thank you so much. Uh, we had fun doing that look. Make sure if you did not m check my live out, if you weren't there live, that's okay. They're always processing up on my channel. Um, uh, once the live is over. Griff is all over the place. He's on the table. He you gonna lay there today? I'm drinking on peach tea. Peach, hot, hot tea. But it's peach and something. I don't forgot that fast. I love tea, by the way. And I got my lemon water. We ready to go. Oh yeah. So first thing we're gonna do, let me um take my let me take my glasses off, put my contacts in, and do my brows. I have a brow tutorial on my channel. Um it doesn't change and that's how I do my brows if you want to know. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I did my brows. I'm wearing burgundy today, so I thought it'd be cool to do some burgundy brows. Um and I primed my lids and I applied my tape. So let me zoom in a little bit. It's not a tutorial, but I'm going to chit-chat while I do this. Because today, I am using my Makeup Revolution and Friends palette. Makeup Revolution did a collaboration with the TV show Friends. Um, and they're doing, like, different, different, four different, like, series of stuff. And this is the first series of stuff, which was a palette. A big palette, three other palettes, Monica, Rachel, and Phoebe. And then, like, some lipsticks. And then they're going to release some other stuff too. But anyway, we're going to do this and we're going to talk. And we're not going to talk about the makeup. We're going to talk about friends. I'm going to do a fairly easy look. I look. Um, this is what the palette looks like. I, friends is one of my favorite shows. So we're about to talk about it. Friends is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. And I absolutely love it. So this is the palette. I've used it a couple times already. Beautiful shades. Uh, makeup Revolution quality can be hit and miss. This is on the, the better side. It's not some of their best palettes. Um, but... I bought it because I love Friends. Friends is like top. Uh, in terms of my TV shows, Martin, Friend that aren't animated. Martin, Friends, Fresh Prince. Um, those are like the top three. Friends is bomb. So I'm going to go ahead and do a look. Uh, classic, warm, maybe use a couple golds. But we're going to talk about Friends. So Friends, let's talk about it. Friends, uh, if you're under a rock, I don't know. Friends was a TV show that aired from 1994 to 2004. Ten seasons, ten years. I was born in 91, so I watched, like, some of the later, like, my mom watched Friends, and, like, when I was able to remember the show, I was obviously older, um, so it was towards the later seasons, however, you know, reruns and everything, I wound up watching the entire series of Friends at a very young age, um, I love the show, and then as an adult, I watched, it was on Netflix, I was so sad when it got rid of it, everyone was like, why, why, um, Oh, we gonna talk. We gonna talk. So I didn't even have to. I didn't even speed this up because we gonna talk. People was like, you know, uh, a lot of people didn't want friends. Like a lot of people don't like friends. We'll talk about that later. Anyway, friends follows six people, uh, six twenty somethings living in New York City, uh, Manhattan specifically, like the village, I think. Living in New York City and just their life and struggles and stuff like that. So the, and I'm gonna address some questions that people always ask. Um. So, you got, uh, the girls were Monica, Phoebe, Rachel. Monica and Rachel were best friends. They've been best friends since, like, uh, kitties. Um, uh, Phoebe was Monica's roommate. In the first episodes, Phoebe was Monica's roommate, and she was, like, moving out because she couldn't live with Monica. But Phoebe was Monica's roommate. That's how she came about the situation. And then the boys was Ross, who's Monica's brother. Chandler, who was Ross's best friend in college, roommate in college or whatever. And then Joey. Joey moved in with Chandler once they were adults. Like, Ch Chandler needed a new roommate, so Joey moved in. You're going to see my nose ring peeking out. Y'all know. All day. Joey moved in with Chandler. Mm. And they formed this friendship. 
Obviously, Ross and Rachel dated. Monica and Chandler wound up getting married later on. Uh, they go through like their guys and their guys and gals and dating. Ross was married three times. Blah blah blah. All right, so I have a lot of unpopular opinions about friends. Um, first off, Ross is my favorite friend. I I know Ross is everyone's least favorite friend because they say he's annoying. He thinks he's better than everyone else or he's smarter than everyone else. Um, I wouldn't say he's smarter than everyone else, but Ross has a PhD. Um, so team degrees. First off, uh, he's a geek. That's fine, but. He made well. He made poor decisions. Absolutely, he made poor decisions. He was married three times. He made very poor decisions. Um, the first time he was married to Carol, who wound up being a lesbian. So okay, then he married uh, Rachel in Vegas, and then he got married to they were drunk. And then Emily, after knowing her for like a month, craziness. Um, anyway, Ross makes poor decisions, but he's my favorite friend because Ross is the lo like he loves like he does things. Like when he walked Carol down the aisle, his ex-wife to her new wife because her parents didn't accept them. He was there. Um, he loved Rachel since like he was in love with Rachel since like high school. Um, and he always would do things for her. Um, so the shade that I put on, funny, this palette has every shade is named after a character. So Paolo, <laughs> Paolo was that warm I just put on. And then I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use Barry on the lid. Barry is a uh, copper. Anyway, moving on. So Ross, again, he loves hard. He loved Rachel hard. Um, oh yeah, that's pretty. Again, this look is not too hard. I'm just going to the mall. He loved Rachel, and granted, they both made stupid decisions. They they really did. But his love for Rachel was never questioned. Like you could, like he loved her. Um, Rachel. Monica is probably my least favorite friend because I get that she's like her character you know she's kind of obnoxious she's a, a neat freak which I don't mind um you know but I don't like her whole I don't know I don't know Monica's just not I don't know I love her I love all of them but I don't know I don't I don't know <laughs> I don't know why Monica's my least favorite friend but Ross is my favorite and Monica is my least favorite. It's funny because they're siblings. Um, I might darken up the outer corner just a little bit. Just for something. Just for something. You know. I'm not doing nothing too hard here. I'm not doing nothing too hard. Uh, yeah. So everyone else kind of falls in the middle. I think. I don't know. Monica really. I didn't like the whole. Monica had like. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to step off Monica for a minute because it's, it's just a lot with her to unpack. Um, let me see. Let me see. Um, I'm going to use Mrs. Geller. That's a deeper burgundy on the outer corner. <sighs> Alright, so my unpopular opinions. The first one, and I'm going to tell it, you, you can unsubscribe if you feel... They were on a break! Okay? If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me tell you the situation. So Ross and Rachel uh, got together and uh, they got together and Rachel got a new job. Rachel was a waitress. She le Rachel was like the rich girl. She left, ran, ran off. She realized she didn't love her husband, well, her fiance, and she left him at the altar and she ran and found Monica and them and that's how they linked back up, blah, 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 blah. So she gets the first time, you know, really working. She was like a spoiled princess and like she was a waitress for the first like two seasons Rachel quits her job she finally gets a job in fashion which is her dream which is awesome this guy helps her get a job Ross is very suspicious of him because you know like guys don't do nice things for girls unless they want to sleep with them blah 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 so Ross is very jealous now both Rachel and Ross made poor decisions I feel like Ross could have supported her like this is her dream job he could have supported her a little bit more she was working crazy hours but like she's trying to get her foot in the door and he could have been a little bit more supportive but Rachel also needs to realize you're in a relationship your boyfriend has insecurities and you're playing into those insecurities by going out to lunch with this man that your boyfriend is suspicious of so both of them both of them both of them anyway so that like they had a big fight and like ross was like you know i'm tired of, i'm not seeing you blah 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 and rachel was like well maybe we should take a break and he's like all right let's go get some coffee and she's like no a break from us a break from us okay and then he leaves granted let me do this they should have, sh there should have been a little bit more clarification, may, possibly, yeah. So Ross goes out when he's all distraught, immediately meets this girl that's been flirting with him, and like he sleeps with her, like rebound, like he's, he's upset, he's hurt, he sleeps with her. 
In his mind, though, Rachel just broke up with him. She set a break from us. I understand that. Rachel then tells Monica the next day. You know, Monica's like, how was it? Blah, blah, blah. She's like, yeah, we kind of broke up last night. Kind of broke up. But she said, we broke up. You know, broke up last night. There you go. There you go. Ross sleeping with her. Immediate, that girl immediately. Um, yeah, it's probably not something I would have done. But he thought they were on a break. Rachel said they were on a break. And he made the point, like, I would have done it if I didn't think we were on a break. And she, and the one thing that pissed me off about Rachel with that situation was, she didn't take that into account. She just was like, you slept with her. You cheated on me. Uh, is, that, is this a little gray area? But I'm on team. I thought we were on a break. Because we know Ross loves her. He would have not done it. I'm not justifying cheating, y'all. But he would have not done it if he thought that they were still together. Uh, and the fact that Rachel told Monica that they kind of broke up shows that she thought the same thing too. So, yeah, it probably been some clarification, but I don't know. I don't know if, um, I mean, yeah, it sucks. Like, as soon as y'all do break up, if it really was a break and he goes out and sleeps with someone else. Oh, yeah, that's hurtful and I do understand, but we can't call it cheating. I wouldn't call it cheating. Uh, that's just me. That's my unpopular opinion about that. Um... Yeah, that's my unpopular opinion about that. So this outlook is coming together. Uh, again, not, it's not too hard. I'm going to do a wing because I want a wing today. Um, so yeah, they want to break. That's how I feel about the situation. I think Rachel, I think Rachel did treated Ross worse than he treated her. Like the main thing that he did, okay, the whole sleeping with that girl. You want to call it that. Um, but, like, Rachel flew to London. He's going to get married to this woman, to Emily, even though nobody likes Emily. But he's going to get married to her. She flies to tell him she loves him on her wedding day. After all his wedding day. After all they've been through and she rejected. It was like Rachel didn't want Ross, but she didn't want Ross with any other woman. Any woman Ross dated, she had an issue with them. And it was always bothered me. Ugh! So, yeah. Anyway, uh, some other things about friends. I was talking to one of my friends. I noticed a lot of black people don't like friends. And the I get to say, like, when I talk to people about it, I get to say friends is trash and it's not funny. False information. I was talking to a guy, um, one of my friends, and he, he was like, it's trash. Living single was the original friends, and it was a thousand times funnier. Hold on, I can't talk and do my eyeliner. This is the Milani Eye Tech. Uh, I think I'm going to do maybe a little fox eye. So I think I'm going to do some black liner and pull this in. But um, anyway, he was like, Friends is trash. And I was like, it's not. <laughs> Living Single was the original friend. So there's an interview with Queen Latifah. And she's talking about the producer of Living Single or someone she knew um, who wound up doing Friends said Living Single was the inspiration. Living Single was um, you, with Queen Latifah and... Um, her cousins and her friends, they living together, single women living in Manhattan, same thing. Here's the thing. I like living single, but I don't think living single was better than friends, and it wasn't funny. I'm be honest with you, I love Queen Latifah, but I don't think she was funny. Friends was a little bit more relatable. I think, not necessarily, we'll talk about, like, race in a minute, but in terms of, like, the scheme of things, like, Friends was one of those shows where, for example, everybody didn't, hold on, let me, let me do this eyeliner. Okay. So, with Living Single, um, first off, Queen Latifah Khadija, was the CEO of a magazine. First off, that's not really, that's not, it didn't, it, like, we, he was talking like, you know, like, black people in it, like, it, it definitely, you know, black strong women leads, like, all of that was there, but it wasn't like, your average black woman, like, watching this show is not the CEO of a magazine. Versus Friends, Rachel was a waitress, they broke as hell. Phoebe was a massage therapist. Joey was an actor struggling, though. Really didn't have any money. And Ross and, Ross and Chandler had money. And then Monica was like a chef. And, and they said, well, how come Monica afford that apartment in New York? Her grandmother. Watch the show. Her grand It was like rent controlled or something. So, like, their job. Maxine on Living Single was a lawyer. Granted, this is great to see on TV. But I feel like Friends had a little bit more realistic struggles of, like, 20-somethings living in New York. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, I thought that was, whatever. They're two different shows. Then, another criticism that people, well, no black people on Friends. Okay, here we go. How many, 
let's talk about diversity. How many, and I ask my black friends, how many white people are in your friend group? Exactly. Granted, you have diverse groups of friends, don't get me wrong. My friend group is, is sort of diverse. But it's okay to not have someone from another race in your friend group if you're just not around that situation. It's not okay, obviously, to be racist or something like that, which friends was not. Ross and Joey fought over two different black girls. Um, Aisha Tyler played a black girl. Played a black girl. She is a black girl. She was uh, Charlie, who was dating Joey, and then she has a PhD. She's a uh, paleontologist as well, okay, educated, and Ross and her dated. Like, watch the show! <laughs> but, um, yeah, how many white people was on Living Single in their friend group? How many white people was on Martin and his friend group? You had Sean that worked at the radio station, but once he left the radio station, don't do me. Don't do me. Let the show be what it was. Granted, obviously, Friends is one of those shows where, like a lot of shows, you can't get away with some of the things on TV now that you, Friends did. But Friends also made waves. They had like the first gay wedding, I think, on TV. Um, they it was it was what it was and appropriate for that time. Um, there was some misogynistic things, but that's every TV show. And I'm not excusing it. Like, I remember when Ben Ross's son was playing with a Barbie and he was trying to get him to play with a G.I. Joe. Things like that. Um, but in my opinion, I don't think that they're that bad of things in the grand scheme of other shows. Um, but yes, I love for you. see me go, I can go in. Uh, probably my least favorite character was Emily. Um, because she was a mess. Uh, I'm looking at all the character names on here. Oh, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell y'all something. Richard, Tom Selleck, Richard was fine. Monica should stay with Richard, but I understand she wanted kids and he was older. I get why, but boy, y'all could have, a oh, boy, Richard was fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I think I need to... Speed up the process. We've been on here 20 minutes. I'm talking about friends. Don't get me started. I'm going to use Urban Decay Zero. Black eyeliner. So, yeah. Friends is... I love Friends. Um, I love the show. I get offended when people say it's trash and not funny and try to compare it to other things. You like what you like, though. You like what you like. Um, and that's fine. But I have an issue. If you're like, I tried to watch it and get through it, you know, but I couldn't. Oh, that's fine, because I have plenty of shows like that. But what you're not going to do is barely watch one episode and be like, oh, this show is trash and not funny. Who are you? Shut your whore mouth. No offense to any whores. I, I say that as a term of endearment. <laughs> um. Yeah, don't, don't do it. That's like how y'all know how I feel about Harry Potter. Like, have you read the books? Well, no. I couldn't get through one movie. It's garbage. Mmm, sit down. So, granted, you don't have to watch 10 seasons of Friends, but, like, to make an assumption, like, uh, the character development was pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. All right. Alright, so what I'm going to do is finish this eye. I'm going to do the little fox thing in the corner. I don't think it's the fox thing. In the corner, I'm going to smudge out this mas smudge out this liner because I've been talking a while. Mascara, lashes, and we'll do the face. I'll be right back. Alright, so I added a wispy lash. Um, did my smudging. I put a little bit more of berry, which was that uh, shade that's on my lid. I put that on my um, in the corner. Did a little something, something. So, I want to color correct, but I'm not because I'm trying some new face products and I have high hopes for them. Um, that it'll cover what I needed to cover. Oh my god. Y'all already know I'm, I'm, I'm a mess. Alright. So, I've already put some primer on. Face primer. The foundation that I'm going to use is the KVD Vegan Beauty. It's a long name. KVD. Um... 
True Portrait Liquid to Powder Foundation. I wanted to try this a while ago, but we know the drama. And it was 50% off at Sephora recently. And so I love a liquid to powder foundation. Ah, I haven't had one in a very long time, but I'm really excited. And we know they have this company has great products, coverage products. Uh, so I'm gonna show you Tan 78. The guys Sephora matched me. Looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, let's do this. It's a squeeze tube. It's it's a this is the packaging. It's a squeeze tube. So I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. It's very thin, very liquidy. And more than likely use too much because that's what I do. Let's going. Okay. Uh, the concealer I have, I have very high hopes for it. Um, I tried it on already as soon as I bought it yesterday because I just couldn't. <clears throat> um, and I, I'm upset that I like it because that means that I'm going to have to get other shades because that's how I do concealer. And it's $28. <clears throat> so, you know. Oh, that's pretty. We're looking pretty good. It's not full coverage. Um, definitely a strong medium coverage. Um, I like it. I like I like it like it like it like it like it. <coughs> Alright, the concealer I have, I'm actually gonna use two concealers, but the one that I'm excited about is my skin tone one, and I'm gonna use another concealer to brighten because that's what I do. This is the new Derma Blend Cover Care Full Coverage Concealer. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't have anything from Dermablend and I don't know why, but Dermablend is known for their maximum coverage products to cover scars, tattoos, all that kind of stuff. Mm. And they came out with this concealer and I don't know, you know I'm a sucker for concealer, full coverage, maximum coverage, whatever. And I tried this on yesterday on my face without foundation. So this foundation did a did an okay job. It's medium, again, medium coverage into getting this dark area together, but it's still there. I feel like this is going to wipe it all out because this almost wiped it out. This wiped it out without foundation. So i trying to get my words right. I'm in the shade 58N. This is a close shade match for me. I mean, it's still a little light, but uh, it's actually lighter than... Yeah, I don't know why I thought it was... Right, maybe I, I was drunk yesterday when I tried it on. The lady matched me. I said I don't mind if it's light. I want to go for skin tone color. I don't mind if it's light. Um, and this is what we both agreed was probably the best one. But I don't know. Yesterday it felt, it seemed dark. It, like, it seemed like when I was trying it on, it seemed like it matched my skin tone. <laughs> one of those things I like. Alright, so this coverage is bomb. Now watch this combination though. This is the Lorac Soft Focus Longwear Concealer. This is a little bit lighter than, than the Derma Blend. I think. Now I don't know my colors. I'm going to put a little bit of that. It's a little bit warmer. It's a little bit warmer. So it's going to be a very, it's going to be a very concealed under eye, but a very natural in terms of shade brightness. It's not going to be. All right. Look at that under eye area. Gorgeous. So. I am going to set my face. Oh, well, let's do the under eye. What do I want to set the under eye with? I don't know, y'all. Let's do a little, um... I don't know, honey. When in doubt, black radiance. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face. This color looks really good. I think I'm going to use my Laura Mercier because why not? So we're going to set this. Oh, flawless. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to add a little bit more shadow under there. So I kind of got it dusted off. Kind of dusted it off. All right. So then for the rest of my face, we're going to go with La Mercier uh, Translucent Powder because it's a good lightweight powder. I don't need, 
like another layer of coverage right now. I don't need that. Um, but definitely something that sets a little bit of tint, but it's not overboard, you know? If that makes any sense. So I'm going to take a large fluffy brush and set the face. So I'm going to Sephora. Um, just for my leisure. I do want to look at holiday stuff, but I also want to look at the rare beauty. People are saying good things about it. Um, however, I'm just not into light coverage or things. like. So I don't know if I can try any face products, but we shall see. No promises. Okay. We getting there. I'm going to put on some lower mascara. Now, I shampooed, I recolored my hair, my blonde is back, I shampooed, I blow dried it, uh, I flat ironed it, <laughs> my hair, just because. I'm getting braids next week, um, but I just, I don't know, I'm going to have my hair straight. But I don't want to wear it down. I don't think I do. I'll see how it looks, but I really want to wear a turban, so we'll see how this goes. Um, okay. Blush. Are we on blush? Contour? Um, so I'm going to use, let's see, ooh, this palette from Mega Revolution Patricia Bright. I have the deeper one. This is the next to the deeper one. I used this on my live the other day as well. So I'm going to use all, do I want to use the highlight too? Yep. I'm going to use all three shades from this palette. So we'll start with the contour. This one is called You Are Gold. This contour is not as deep, obviously, as the deeper contour, but it should work. Yep. Very pretty. Very pretty. Ooh, it's a little warmer, but I don't, I don't, I don't hate it. I, I do not contour with things this warm, but wow, that's pretty. Alright, and then the blush. This is a matte blush in here. Very pigmented. Alright. Highlights. I'm probably not going to wear a lip because I'm wearing a mask. Don't need a lip. Sometimes I do wear a lip. Sometimes I don't. I don't think I am today. Highlighter. This is a pretty um, peachy champagne highlighter. That's beautiful. This look is not too over the top, but I definitely wanted to put on a full face today. Sometimes you get up and you be in that mood. You know? But... Hope you enjoyed my friends talk. Please let's continue the conversation down below. Um, how y'all feel about the show? Love it, hate it. Now, if you don't like it, if you hate it, you gotta tell me why. You gotta tell me why. And you have to tell me how many episodes you actually watched. So. Okay. Now, this is crazy. So, I don't really think I need any Fix Plus. I like the way my face looks. But this spray, shout out to my best friend Jessica. Because y'all know I have all the sprays. And pretty much. And then she, you know, she's into makeup. Not as crazy as me, obviously. We always talk about different things. And usually, anything that she has, I have. Or things like that. But this spray, I never had. She had it. She tried it. She bought it. And she liked it. This is the Makeup Revolution. Conceal and Define Infinite Mattifying Longwear Makeup Fixing Spray 16 Hour Wear. This is a fixing spray, but I'm going to use it. I'm just, I'm not even using a setting spray. I'm just going to spray this on my face. I think my face looks pretty good. Um, and she said it was balm. So let's see. It was $10 at Ulta. Very affordable. Oh, my face looks pretty. Ooh. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I got my stocking cap on. I don't know if I want to wear my hair down today. This is a lot of hair. Um, 
I'll let y'all know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave them down below. I love you all and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!